YouTube channel Alexis project and today we will see a new hardware setup title name is IoT based uh, transformer monitoring system using ESP32 okay so you can see here is our main monitoring setup okay so let's see each and every components one by one it is a main switch to turn on and off the entire project okay and next is a 5 volt input uh, jack okay to provide 5 volt power supply to run the system okay and next is a ESP32 board development board here and it is the brain of the system and it is responsible to handle entire operation and next is a here is a transformer okay uh, so a 12 volt uh, 1 ampere transformer here and we will measure all the parameters of this transformer using this system okay next component here is a LCD okay you can see and it is responsible to display current voltage temperature and all level of the transformer okay it is also removable and this knob is responsible to adjust the LCD contrast next component here is a temperature sensor okay and this temperature sensor will measure the temperature of the transformer body it is a, a temp uh, next is a all level sensor here you can see and it is placed on the top of the tank next component is a load here load lamp here okay and it, it will consume the current provided by the transformer and display you the amount of current on the LCD screen See so here is a buck connector okay, and it is responsible to adjust the current flowing uh, through the lamp okay uh, we can control the current of the lamp using this buck connector and here uh, students can write their guide uh, project uh, group members name and here is project name and students can write their guide name here using the pen or pencil so after turning on the project let's uh, connect our system to the internet for this we will use mobile hotspots now go to the mobile notification bar okay and now uh, you can see here okay mobile hotspots okay uh, just long press on this okay and we have to add into the mobile hotspot settings so just uh, click on this icon here okay and do the settings as per the screen okay and set this at uh, 2.4 gigahertz band okay and just uh, click on this icon okay and after some moment hotspot will be turned on and after 4 to 5 seconds so your device will show here okay as ASP device connected here okay this section below so now let's see how to visit our Adafruit server so for this uh, just to type on any on browser Adafruit IO okay and click on enter okay and after click on the first link okay here Okay. and after uh, the successful login uh, now click on the sign in okay using the given ID and password from our side and just to click on the email ID and password okay here okay and just to click on sign in okay okay sign in successfully okay and after uh, sign in just to click on the IO on top okay and then click on the dashboard okay and after clicking on the dashboard okay click on the project name Okay, and here's our parameters okay you can see all the parameters live so after watching all the components so here's our project setup okay and time to see its performance so let's just turn on the system using the main switch here the system is turning on and you can see the name of the project okay and after some time you will see the parameters so here you can see uh, currently the current is showing is 1.52 ampere okay and voltage 12.7 okay and temp current temperature 25 degrees only and oil level is 9 15 percent only okay as you can see uh, oil level is less okay so let's uh, test uh, temperature is 25 degrees let's see on IoT server so here you can see okay oil level is 15 around 15 percent okay and here you can see the graph okay okay 20 percent okay and here's the logo of the oil level and here's temperature 25 degrees in now and you can see on graph okay temp 25 degrees so you can see temperature 25 degrees here okay and voltage 12.8 volt okay so let's check on the voltage on the server so you can see 12.8 okay and you can see the graph okay 12.8 okay so it is uh, showing so accurately all the parameters okay current is 0 0.99 ampere so let's check on server so you can see here 0.99 ampere okay here you can see on graph okay also see your graph of the parameters okay so let's uh, uh using the uh, using this uh, screwdriver we will adjust the uh, current of the load okay and we will see new readings okay so we are rotating it in a clockwise direction 
so you can see lamp intensity has increased okay so now let's check new current reading so you can see uh it will take some moment like five to ten seconds to refresh the so you can see new current reading is 1.78 ampere okay let's check on server okay here you can see 1.78 okay, you can see on graph okay current has increased from here to here okay and now you can see the voltage is 11.6 voltage drop occurred okay uh it is showing 11.6 okay so we'll check on 11.6 here okay you can see voltage drop occurred because of the high high load okay and temperature is currently uh 26 degrees c okay one degree has increased because of the transformer uh, temperatures can uh, slowly slowly rising okay so let's check on server the temperature so you can see here temperature 26 degrees c so you can see from 25 to okay 25 to 26 it is showing okay continuously temperature is increasing okay it means our system is so fine and you can see currently oil level is 29 percent okay so let's uh, change the oil level sensor from this 29 degree to a uh, little bit high okay value so let's uh, put this on the center of the tank okay and we are waiting for the new reading so this oil level must be increased okay so you can see new oil level reading is 26 okay from 20 uh, around to 76 let's check on iot server so you can see new reading is 76 percent of oil level okay so here you can see old reading is old reading was here you can see 28 only and now current reading is 76 percent okay because this tank has higher amount of oil okay and this tank is only this level of oil okay so it means our uh, oil level sensor is working so fine and also all the system is working so fine okay okay again you can see temperature has increased from 26 to 27 because transformer is in the running condition okay so let's see on server here you can see from this is the history of the data 25 26 and now it is currently 27 okay so it means our temperature sensor also is working so fine okay let's move again the this oil level sensor from this 76 value to the 20 percent of uh, oil level here in this way okay make sure all uh, the sensor is inside uh, in the center of the uh, beaker okay so you can see new reading has appeared okay 24 percentage oil level okay because you can see it is 24 percent of the tank okay let's check on server so you can see new reading has increased okay this is the oil level and current oil level has reduced from here to it from 76 percent to it is now showing only 23 percent okay it means our project is working so fine okay okay now let's uh, change again some amount of current okay so we will we will decrease the current okay using this knob so we are rotating in anti-clockwise okay so you can see lamp intensity is reducing okay and uh, as per this so current should reduce okay and voltage should increase okay so let's check okay 1.12 ampere currently current is and voltage is uh, 10.3 okay after some time we will see see voltage has increased okay and current is 1.26 ampere so you can see okay voltage has increased okay from here from something 10.2 directly it is, it is increased to 12.8 okay and current is reduced you can see current is reduced from here 1.672 and now it is showing 0.47 ampere only it means or all the sensor and entire project is working so fine thank you so much for watching this video okay and after this uh, performance we will see the backside wiring of this model so you can see i have turned off the model okay and now let's check, check, see on back side of the model so here is the back side okay you can see clearly okay this is the back side this is the isp32 back side transformer back side this is the load back side and this is the temperature sensor okay and this is the buck converter back side this is the bridge rectifier okay and this is the lcd contrast and this is the lcd back side this is 5 volt junction okay and this is uh, i think a current sensor back side uh, main switch back side and this is the 5 volt back side okay 5 volt input okay you can see here this one okay so let's uh, again rotate it okay so here is our project so thank you so much for watching this video if anyone is want to purchase this model please contact uh, on the given number on your screen thank you so much